Tonight we are honoured to have a veteran of the Normandy invasion with us on stage. He was a crew member of a ship that set sail on the 6th of June and at 15 he must have been one of the youngest there. So please welcome Jim Radford. Jim, how, how do you feel today seeing us all gathered and remembering these events? Contrasting emotions, I think, glad and sad. I'm glad that I survived. I've had 70 years of a good life and I'm very sad every time I think of D-Day about all the poor devils who never made it back. And that's the people I'm thinking about on this day and every, every year. You went on to become a, a folk singer. We're going to hear a song that Jim wrote about the day, which is called The Shores of Normandy. But just before you sing it, tell us how, how you came to write it, Jim. It's actually the first song I ever wrote, and the clue to why I wrote it is in the last verse. I didn't go back to Alamances for till about 1960, and I didn't expect to be moved. But when I did go back and stood on the beach, that I'd last seen covered in bodies and saw children building sandcastles. I wept, and that's when I decided to write the song. Jim Radford and the Shores of Normandy. Of the 6th of June In the year of 44 The Empire Lots Sailed out from Poole To join with thousands more The largest fleet The world had seen We sailed in close array and we set our course for Normandy at the dawning of the day. There was not one man in all our crew but knew what lay in store. For we had waited for that day through five long years of war. We knew that many would not return But all our hearts were true For we were bound for Normandy Where we had a job to do Now the Empire Lodge was a deep sea tug With a crew of 33 and I was just the galley boy on my first trip to sea. I little thought when I left home of the dreadful sights I'd see. But I came to manhood on the day that I first saw Norman. At Aramance, off the beach of gold, neath the rocket's deadly glare, we towed our block ships into place, and we built a harbour there. Mid shot and shell, we built it well, as history does agree. While brave men died in the swirling tide, on the shores of Normandy. For every hero's name that's known, a thousand died as well. On stakes and wires their bodies hung, dropped in the ocean swell. And many a mother wept that day. For the sons he loved so well 
man who cracks a joke and catches the smoke as they storm the gates of hell. As the years pass by, I can still recall the men I saw that day who died upon that blood-soaked sand where now sweet children play. And those of you who were unborn, who've lived in liberty, remember those who made it so on the shores of Normandy.